Hey, what's up, Halo fans? Welcome back to another Halo video. Now, today's video is an amazing video because, um, guys, uh, I didn't know they've actually released um, a new update for uh, El Dorito. If you guys don't know what El Dorito is, basically, uh, it was basically a, a, a supposed to be a Russian game that was released like in 2015. Uh, that was supposed to be released in 2015 uh, somewhere. But then the modders came over and actually you know, took the game and modified it. Uh, I think the game was cancelled actually. Yeah, it got cancelled but the modders uh, somehow got the files and you know they've... Uh, yeah, they, they started you know do a lot more with it. They modified the whole game. And I remember playing this a lot as well. Like I remember playing uh, 0 0.5 and a bit of 0 0.6. But then the project was stopped. You know... It, Microsoft, you know, stopped doing, you know, made them stop doing updates and, you know, and that's how we got MCC because of, you know, El Dorito. Microsoft saw the numbers were popping off in El Dorito and uh, they saw the potential it had. And uh, yeah, so from there, uh, yeah, a lot has happened apparently. Um, yeah, as you guys, you guys can see, we're uh, on, we're on 0.70. Uh, they've done a lot with this update. I remember in 0 0.6, we didn't have stuff like uh, Playboy Elites, and you know, as you guys can see here. And what, what I love about this about this customization, uh, you can actually pick like a specific color. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you want to pick red, and you go to custom, you can just you can make the sky. You can make your own elite so red. Like, let me show you. Look how red he looks. Like, you, you don't get this stuff from MCC, right? So, if we go, I don't know if they added new armor pieces, I'm not sure. Um, but they got all the uh, armor pieces, the original armor pieces, uh, you know, from Halo 3. And they've added the service tag. I think the service tag in the uh, in the original game, you can only add like three, um, um, you know, you can add like, you know, three letters or something. So, uh, but in this one, you can add like four, uh, four words or something, four numbers. Uh, there's at least four characters, yeah. So you can add, actually add like four characters. Uh, the name is actually pretty long, so uh, you can see there's, there's 15 characters. I don't know if I could put my Twitch name on here, so if I was to do that, yeah, I am plugging in now. <laughs> Share productions. Oh no, I can't plug in, but you guys get the point, right? So there's 15 characters. I don't know if the original ha original one had that. I think I had like eight characters or something. I'll correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't want to go through all of this. You guys can, you know, download it yourself. It is free, so go ahead and download it if you guys have a PC. Um, they've updated Forge as well. Um, they've, uh, I think they've added the undo, uh, redo future. Uh, it's, uh, it's a new thing. I don't know if that was ever a thing in 0 0.6. And, and I think they brought back all of, the, all of the maps from Halo 3 MCC. You even got the Halo 9 maps. Sometimes you don't see them. I don't know why. Must be a bug or something. It should be here somewhere. But if you guys are uh, like, but yeah, the game settings are are literally insane. Uh, if you was if you to like, let's say if I want to host infection, these these guys have done a lot. I was trying to make a map called Bigfoot Forest, right? You know, I was I, I kind of want to make that. Uh, you know, make a dense forest and then have a, a large you know spot and chasing you, right? I was making that. Uh, it's not completed yet. I don't know if I'll, if I'll make it or not. Uh, I was just testing out the, the the Forge and the game type settings. So if we click X, they've actually... Like, I don't know if you guys have played 0 0.6, but I was trying to show you the old the old stuff. I was uh, releasing 0 0.6. So if you go to Zombie and Zombie Triads, and then you go to Appearance, like, you can actually have... You can actually play as a Flood, apparently. Uh, I think it's if you click random, I think you need to download the model for it. I'll probably show you that. Um, you can change the player size. You can make it massive, right? You can make it massive. Uh, you can. I think that's probably. I don't know if that's a new thing. Uh, that's probably it was. Uh, and if you go back, there is, you can turn off sprint. There's sprint in the game. If you guys don't like sprint, you can turn it off. I think it's off by default. Uh, I believe there's also a flashlight in the game. Um, if you press the uh, number three or something, I set my key binding to number three, I think, and you can actually set your flashlight. They've done a lot uh, to this game. I'm trying to like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, slowly go through everything. Uh, there's a modded browser. Oh my god, how could I forget that? There's a the, there's a modded browser now. So if you guys to click on a modded server, uh, you know, you can actually join in. Uh, let's try and join in this. Oh, the party's full. But the thing, okay, the problem is about this game, there's not enough players. And that's the whole point why I'm making this video. I don't know if Microsoft will probably take this video down. I mean, I hope, I don't know, I hope not. But I want to, well, I want a lot of people to know there's actually like, it's like, you know, we basically have a Halo Custom Edition and it's 
pretty amazing. And uh, so yeah, go ahead, uh, just go ahead, you know, download download the mod, you know, try it yourself, you know. Let me try to show you guys something. They've actually added emotes as well, emojis or something. Oh yeah, so you have more op uh, uh, options. So there's do wheeling, there's assassinations. Assassinations were broken, but now they fixed it. We can enable that. Uh, so yeah, they got do wheeling. I don't like podium. I don't, personally, I don't like that. Yeah, you can have unlimited sprint. I'm trying to make sure what I have, what I haven't missed. I mean, you guys, you guys can easily host your own server. I tried hosting, but I don't know why it doesn't work. Yeah, play emos. Here, here we go. So let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna. I want to show you that. Oh, and also they've added a third person. Thing is, I haven't written up like a proper script. This is not like a proper script video, so it's, it's unscripted. So the stuff that I'm gonna show or you know or do, I might not get everything right. So do please uh, do bear with me. So I'm gonna show you guys the third person option. Um, how do you do third person? So you go to general settings, uh, base flow tries. Uh, go to. So yeah, third person camera. We can leave third person, okay? Just to show. Oh, by the way, there's a melee as well. You can melee. That's another thing I want to show you. Actually, let me show you. There's a lot of stuff I need to show you guys. Uh, guys, everything's on my mind right now. I don't know where to start. Because that's how brilliant this mod is. Player size. So, should we make him tiny? We make him tiny, okay? He's going to be a bloody rat. So, and this is how he's going to look like. I do apologize if, I do apologize if the video seems quite, I don't know, not really in the right order. Not really showing things properly, but... Hopefully I've got everything in the video that you guys need to know. So yeah, this is me. <laughs> look how tiny I look. Looks a bit off, but it works. He's way too small. And you can punch. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's emotes. There's emojis as well. Whatever you call them, emotes. I think they're different as well to the Spartans. So you click, you click number three. So that's how he looks like. Maybe I should have put him bigger actually. Maybe we can make him big, I guess. It's actually amazing in El Dorito. So yeah, this is our, our elite. You can tell um, you can tell he looks good, man. And you can fist fires. Look, you can throw punches. <laughs> it's pretty dope, right? Yeah, pick up weapons and yeah, so. Let me show you the emojis again. That's how he looks like. Yeah. I kind of want to make him bigger so you guys can see how he looks like. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can enable these uh, in your own uh, custom games, man. This is amazing, dude. Like, bro, if Microsoft really allows them, you know, continue working on this, like, we could potentially have ourselves, you know, uh, a custom edition. Like, this is literally custom edition right here. I do have suggestions. If you, if you had the Rita devs are watching this, is it possible to have, like, proximity to voice chat? Because there could be a lot of potential roleplay. Yeah, give us proximity voice chat. Give us give us a lot of good stuff. Yeah, maybe try to increase the player count. I don't know if that's possible. Um, oh, you have the ugly sniper from um, Halo 4 and Halo 5. But but you can change that. Uh, you guys can actually enable that. I think you go on to settings. Let me show you. Well, I got the Halo 3 pack and enable. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why you can't see the Halo 3 models. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I've got to restart my game. But yeah, uh, you can do third person. Uh, it's literally in the game now. So you can do third person. Um, I don't think I don't think you can change uh, from third person to th uh, to first person. I don't know if there's an option like that. Not like how you do it in GTA 5. Where you can just switch from like uh, third person to first person. Hopefully they have an option like that. That'd be pretty cool. So is there anything else I need to show? Maybe you can hop on Forge. I'll show you. I can show you Forge. Look, yeah, you can also customize your own main menu. So if you boot, if you boot up your Halo online for the first time, your main menu won't look like that. You will only have the Valhalla menu. But you can change that in the uh, settings. Uh, just so uh, I think you can customize your main menu because I do remember doing that. I don't know if they have added like new weapons or vehicles. I haven't I haven't looked that up yet actually. Let me let me check that. Oh my god, sprinting is weird. You can actually sprint. Okay, I think the sprinting animation for elites are kind of broken. I didn't know that. Can you drive the forklift? No, you can't drive the forklift. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're we're in um, we're on foundry, and oh, by the way, you can actually no clip now. So you can actually enable that by using the command. So if you guys type in forge, uh, forge dot. Hang on, where is it? Okay, let's scroll down. 
So if you guys have to forge start, you, you have a lot of options. So click and forge start, no click. Uh, I think it's called no. It's got to be here somewhere. Yeah. So you, if you guys click that forge dot monitor no clip, you can actually go through uh, objects. You can go through walls and such. So you click one. Okay. You click one, and you can go through anything. You can forge outside of you know here. Uh, you got you got to remove the barrels. Uh, I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, let me see if they've added like weapons. I don't know if they added weapons. I don't, know, I don't know if they added a lot of weapons, but they have added a lot of uh, armor abilities, new equipment. So you go to armor abilities, and this is what they've added. They've added, I'll probably show you them all, okay? So, click on that. Align and strike. Uh, I don't know if I go through all of them. <laughs> so there's a lot they've added. There's a whole lot. But I try and go for the ones that, that are pretty badass. So, okay, that's Cloak. We've been there. We had that before. So that's cloak, and as you guys see, as you guys can can see at the uh, top left, uh, that's my bar is getting depleted. Yeah, so it's already depleted. We got the hologram, as you guys know, is from Halo Reach and Halo Four. Uh, it looks really good. That's pretty insane, dude. What is this? A reflective shield? What does that do? Oh, does it make me invincible or something? Pick up lighting strike. Oh yeah. I need someone here to shoot me because it probably does something to them. Maybe they have bodies bouncing off them and then arms the other player. So this is a conceptual blast. I, I remember trying that in 0.6. It's pretty dope. It's only one time usage though. But, okay, that's the same shield I think. So they've added those, which is pretty sick. Uh, they've added, I think scale was quite new. So you can add rocks, you can scale them by pressing X and you can scale them like that. Pretty dope, right? Um, you can also make the map really dark. Like I'm talking about pitch black, and let me show you that. Uh, so you go to map options. Um, oh yeah, you can disable the barriers. So let's do that. We can go outside. Yeah, look. So you can forge outside now. So you can disable disable the barriers by going onto map option and then yeah, play around the settings. But yeah, let's change up the um, yeah, let's change up the the darkness. Uh, make it really dark. Give it a bit of light. Should we give it a bit of light? We can give it a light. Look, you can play your own infection map. Look, look how different it looks. Look how creepy it looks. How do I turn on flashlight? Oh yeah, number four. So look, you have your own flashlight. Halo 3 MC, MCC does not have that. But every time you fire, you don't really see your weapon. You know, you don't see the effects. Um, I think there's a way... Maybe there's a way of seeing it. Maybe you have to buff it up a little bit. Maybe you give it a bit... Maybe that could work. I don't know. Yeah, you can only see a little bit. That's balanced. That's about right. What do you guys think? So yeah, it gives it gives you that horror, um, that horror feeling, right? That horror atmosphere. Um, see that floaty rock over there? Let's jump on it. It's pretty dope, isn't it? Forge is really simple. It does. It's not complicated. I can promise you that. It's like, uh, like if you compare it to Infinite, it's it's like comparing Halo 3's uh, Forge to um, Halo 5 or something. Uh, oh yeah, so they've added a. Uh, Doors, uh, so you can. I haven't, I haven't used these yet. I think, I think you got to enable the doors to uh, open. So you have tunnel door. I'm going. Should we try to like play around with it? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if I can open it. Uh, there should be like a button to activate this. Don't know where that will be though. Oh, I think it's one of these. We can try it. Oh yeah, you can open it. Look, that's pretty dope. So yeah, we have official open. Uh, uh, you know, opening doors now. Can you open it again? Oh yeah, you can. You just gotta wait for it to go, to, you know, to go back to green. Oh, that one hasn't turned green. I think this one... Oh, it does turn back to green. Okay, I just got. I just have to wait. That's pretty dope, dude. Like, you can make your own infection map and have, like, a open, uh, you know, open doors available. That's pretty dope. I I'm being so careful with this video. Like, I'm trying to go through as much as I can. Um... Let's go back out to the main menu. I'm probably trying to do a lot of cropping. It's going to take a while though. I was I was on Rejected Shotgun stream and he said that... Um, I think if someone said to him like... Uh, uh, porting maps from Halo 3 MCC is actually a lot easier. So so one of them like uh, actually ported one of the modern maps into um, into El Dorito. So 
Um, I guess we could likely see a lot of uh, uh, modded maps from MCC. Like we could like we could likely see huge grass uh, if you guys ever play that. Uh, you know, and th and that would be amazing because his map. You know, I really love to play on rejected shotguns map. Uh, let me show you playing as a flood because uh, this is quite a big deal. Let's go to Ghost Town, right? And we pick a map. Uh, what is it? We pick a mod. Yeah, we pick a mod called. It's called Flood something. Flood, flood player rep. So we're gonna click on player try its uh, appearance. Then you go to model. I don't know why this doesn't change though. But I think you have to change it here. I think I've done it wrong. It's gotta be. Is it like that? Okay. Let's let's try again. <laughs> uh, zombie try its appearance. I don't know if this is it. Let's let's just check. Let's just pray it works. But look, all I but look, I can uh, officially confirm you can play as a flood. Okay, that's what matters. Just a shame that you can't see the name tag. Oh look, here it is. Look, flood, flood spreading. Here we go. Thank God. That took a while. Okay, we're not in third person, but look, you can actually see him. You can actually see him. You can actually play in third person and see your own uh, uh, flood. But yeah, you can actually officially play as the flood. Uh, so if you guys are hosting your own infection, anyone can join your game. Um, and they, and they, they will also see your model. They, they can also play as the flood. Uh, you know, if I was to fall to my death. You can jump really high as well. I should have put it uh, third person. But that's the whole point I wanted, wanted to show. You can uh, officially, look, you can see my shadow. I'm playing as the flood. But yeah, that, that, there you have it. Alright, what else should we move on to? What, what, what else is new? So yeah, let's hop on the server browser. So yeah, you can press F11 by the way to access the server browser. Okay, let me show you this map. Okay, we're gonna play Dorito Stadium. I'm sure you probably saw this in other videos. But let's just... Don't let me get it in, boys. Oh, there's a lot of people actually speaking VC by the way. Uh, go, 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 get, think... it, get it, get it, get it. I think Special Warshot please. is Special available uh, by please. default. So Tuesday. You can... Tuesday, brother. Tuesday. Okay, I'll just disable that. They're, they are too loud, but you can see a lot of people are, are talking, uh, as you guys can see at the top uh, left corner. Uh, the war chat, the, the, it's very sociable, this game is. Yeah. And while you're in game, let's say let's say if you don't like the server, uh, you can go ahead and press F11. Like, you can open the server browser while you're in game and select the server. Uh, the problem is, guys, we need a lot of players to play this. <laughs> Uh, so if you guys know anyone that's on PC and loves Halo, just uh, like send them the the, the link, you know, to download the game and. Oh, you can actually use a sword while you're driving. I didn't know that. So yeah, we're, I'm playing Dorito Stadium and look, and this is a modern map. And people download, people had to download the map by selecting the server browser, and it will automatically download it for them. And it looks incredible. It looks amazing. And that's the audience. Um, yeah, those are people watching. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What happens if I get out? Okay, you can get out. Can I assassinate him? Or someone can assassinate me. I just want to show you guys how good it looks. Oh no, you can't. I think they even disable assassinations. You can't kill players. You can probably only kill. I think, you, I think you, the, only, the only way to win the game is just to score. It's not really killing. I don't know if you can kill anyone with the mongers. But yeah, that, uh, but yeah, I just want to show you the modern browser. Because uh, the modern browser is such a it's such a big deal. Uh, it's really loud in there, I do apologize. I do apologize if you guys can't hear me. Um, I don't know if Firefight works. I don't know. Like, I don't see anything here. Unless if I need to download something. Hang on. I think this is where you download the mods. Uh, I don't know how this works though, to be fair. So I need to look into it. Um... But I've heard they've they are going they are going to be working on a campaign mod, which is pretty nice. Uh, oh yeah, you can actually also I don't know if I mentioned this yet. The main menu you can actually customize this. Uh, you can add the Halo Three main main menu and and there's weapon packs for Gears of Wars. I was playing that earlier actually. Uh, you can also um, customize your first person option. Uh, also have jumping and landing animations. Uh, you can also enable item outlines, but I kept them off uh, personally. Uh, you can expand. Uh... Oh yeah, there's also a Discord uh, invite as well. So if people send you a Discord invite, you can actually join it. Uh, kind of works. It's kind of how Xbox works, where you send it someone an invite, which is pretty nice. Yeah, there's field of view, FOV, 
Yeah, I think I've shown you guys... Yeah, I've shown, I've shown enough. So yeah, uh, this is 0 0.7. I highly recommend downloading it. I don't know if Microsoft will allow it. We don't know if they're going to continue. If I don't know if they will let the developers continue making updates. But I do pray that they will let them continue doing updates. I don't know if Microsoft even cares about Halo anymore at this point. So I really hope we get to have... Uh, you know, we get to have a lot of more features, uh, you know, coming into this game. And, you know, now we have the modern browser. I'm really looking forward to other maps, custom-made maps like Rejected Shotgun's map coming in. And multiplayer modern maps, uh, uh, that is. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to starting, you know, the Battlefront 2 maps. Uh, I think a Beast Quicker made those maps. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to, for those maps coming in. Uh, I really hope they do push, uh, they do, like... Uh, push a lot you know with this game I, I hope they do add a lot of features like I, I want them to add their proximity voice chat uh, I think that would be very hilarious when it comes to like you know custom games you know especially when you're playing infection survival game um, I think that would be amazing they need to add those uh, add, add that kind of future and uh, yeah uh, I hope they do add a lot of uh, game settings um, and the options before I end the video I'm just being very careful how long? Oh, this video has been going on for 32 minutes. Okay, uh, maybe I have shown enough. I do apologize if I haven't sh shown a whole lot, but I think uh, I got the main bits out of the way. All right, see you guys later. Bye.